sun is bright today. Um, I'm down at my bee yard and I got a situation. Uh, I'm checking my hives. I put some of that extended release um, oxalic acid on the uh, Swedish sponges. I come down today to check over and I got a situation. This is the bee yard. We have a little broad trash. And this bush is about 50 yards or 50 feet from the bee yard. And I have bees flying everywhere. Um, it's not a big swarm, but you see them gathering on that little limb. I checked the limb when they started gathering, but I didn't see any queen. Maybe I can figure it out. Y'all have a good day. Okay, so I'm going around my hives. Um, and you see, I got a little activity there. This is a small colony. There's not about four frames of bees in those. I'm running eight frame uh, hive bodies. Um, now, this one, it's a pretty good sized colony. Um, it's got eight full frames in the bottom and two in the top. And I'm trying to figure out which one I think may be swarming. Now, this one, I'm kind of questionable about. Uh, it's got a right good many bees, but looking at the ground, I see a lot of dead bees. Um, and there's pollen going in. I've checked it. The queen's in there. She's got eggs, she's got young larvae. Uh, and I think there was about six frames of brood in this hive um so i don't know if the one with the dead bees is one that's trying to swarm um i had been seeing a lot of bees that had that deformed wing virus from the mites um like i said i put the swedish sponges on them about a week and a half ago I don't know if I hadn't really inspected the ones that are dead on the dirt yet to see if they're the ones that you know may have had the deformed wings and the other bees just killed them out or they just didn't make it. Um, this is another pretty good sized hive. Uh, I hadn't been in it today. I don't see any dead bees around it. This is another pretty good size. Um, this is one I done the first one I done with the newspaper combined method. Um, it took really well. Uh, it's got about seven frames of brood in the bottom. It's got three in the top, so it's taken off pretty good. Um, they have a right good bit of weight to them for the winter. I think most of mine are Italians. I have a couple of hives that have real dark bees in them. The guy that I got them from said that he had a cross between Italians and uh, Carniolans. And this hive here is the last one I have, and it doesn't have any dead bees around it, so I, I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you for watching. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe, and y'all have a blessed day.